Today's video is going to be about two step equations. Before we start on our equation, let's just go back and remember when you multiply a positive times a positive, it's going to be a positive. When you multiply a positive times a negative, you're going to have to have a negative. When you do a negative times a negative, it's going to be a positive. When you do a negative times a positive, your answer is going to be a negative. Okay. Now, this problem we have x divided by 8 plus 2 equals 6. First thing we have to do is to get rid of a positive 2, we're going to do the opposite of a positive 2 is a negative 2. Whatever we do on the one side of the equal sign, we have to do it on the other side. So we will cancel this, a positive and a negative cancel. So we're going to be left only with x over 8 equals. So we have a positive and a negative. We're gonna, so you're going to subtract. When you have two different signs, when you're adding and subtracting, you have two different signs, you're going to subtract. When you have two of the same signs, if it's a positive and a positive, you're going to add. If you have two negatives, you're going to add the two negatives, and your answer should be a negative. But in this case, we have 6, which is a positive, and we have negative 2. So we're going to subtract. I usually just look first at the numbers, which one's bigger, 6 or 2, without looking at the signs. In this case, it's 6, so you know your answer is going to be a positive. So now we subtract 6 from 2, it's going to be 4, positive 4. So now you have x over x over 8 equals positive 4. So when you have division, to get rid of division, you have to multiply by 8 over 1. And remember, whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do it on the other side. So this will cross out, this will cross out, we'll leave the variable by itself, which the goal is always to leave the variable by itself. So we have x by itself now. So we're going to do 8 times 4 is going to be 32. So your answer, so your variable and your answer for this problem will be x equals 32. For this problem, we have 5x minus 10 equals negative 45. So we're going to get rid of a negative 10 first. So the opposite of negative 10 is going to be positive 10. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do it on the other side so we can keep balance. So this will get crossed out. Then we're going to have 5x equals and like I said on before before I look I know right away I have a positive and I have a negative so what I do I just cover the signs and say okay which number is bigger 45 or 10 so 45 is bigger then I just look at what sign is in front of 45 and the sign in front of 45 is negative so I know I should have a negative here and since we know that we have a negative and a positive, we know that we're going to subtract. So 45 minus 10 is going to be 35. Then 5x is multiplying. Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. Now we're going to leave the variable x by itself, which is always the goal, to leave the variable by itself. So then we have, when we divide or multiply a negative times a positive, if we look on the right hand side, a negative times a positive, our answer should be a negative, and then 5 goes into 35 7 times. So our x equals negative 7. On this problem we have x minus 10 divided by 2 equals negative 8. So we have division, so to get rid of division, we have to multiply 2 over 1. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, and I make sure we do that on the other side of the equal sign. So I'm going to cross this out, cross this out. So we're only going to have what x minus 10 equals negative times a positive. We look on the right hand side, negative times a positive is going to be a negative. And then 8 times 2 is 16. Now we're going to have negative 10. So we're going to get the opposite of negative 10. It's going to be 
positive 10. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget, we have to do it on the other side so we can keep the balance. So now we have the variable by itself, which we always have to have the variable by itself. Now we have a negative and a positive. So we know right away we're going to subtract. Cover up my hands and look at what number is bigger, 10 or 16. 16, then we look at what signs in front of the 16 is going to be a negative. So our answer is going to be a negative. Now we have 16 minus 10 is going to be 6. So our answer is going to be x equals negative 6. On this problem, we have negative 9 plus n divided by 4 equals negative 7. So we first, we're going to get rid of this negative 9. So this is negative 9. What's the opposite of negative 9? It's going to be positive 9. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget, we have to do that on the other side of the equal sign so we can keep the balance. So we go ahead and cancel that out. So now it's going to leave us with n divided by 4 equals. So we go ahead again, cover it up because we have a negative and we have a positive. So right away we should know that's going to be subtraction. We go ahead and cover and we we'll say, what do we have in front? The 7 or the 9? What's bigger? 9 is bigger than 7. Then we're going to look at it and we're going to say, okay, what sign is in front of the 9? In this case, it's going to be a positive. So the answer is going to be a positive there. Now we're going to subtract nine, uh, 7 from 9. So it's going to give you 2. Now we go back here. It's division. Why do we get rid of division? What's the opposite of division? It's going to be multiplication. So we're going to multiply by 4 over 1. Whatever we do on one side, can I forget? We have to do it on the other side of the equal sign as well. So we're going to cancel this and equals 4 times 2 is going to go in a variable and equals 8. On this problem we're doing negative 10x plus 2 equals 102. So we're going to get rid of this positive 2 first. So what's the opposite of plus 2 is negative 2. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we're going to make sure we do it on the other side. So we're going to cancel this. Then we're going to left off with negative 10 x. We have two different signs, so we know that we're going to go ahead and subtract. We go ahead and cover the signs there in front. So what's bigger? 1 or 2 or 2. Of course, 1 or 2 is going to be bigger than 2. There's no sign in front of it, so that means that's a positive. So a positive is a negative. We're going to subtract. 102 minus 2 is going to be 100. Now, this is negative 10x. That means it's multiplying. The opposite of negative 10. And we're doing multiplication. So we're going to divide. We're going to do negative 10. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. Okay? Now, here, we did a negative 10 instead of a positive 10, like we always do. We had it to do a negative. And the reason we have to do that is because our variable always have the rule number one. is It always has to be by itself. And it always, always has to be positive. So if we did negative times a positive, if we look at our the right hand side, a negative times a positive is going to give us a negative. But if we go ahead and multiply or divide a negative times a negative, it's going to be a positive. So that's the reason why I divide it by negative 10. So now this will cancel and then negative times a negative is going to give us our variable to stay positive. So x equals a negative times a positive is going to be a negative. 10 goes into 100 10 times. So our variable x equals negative 10. Now, if you want to check your answer to see if your answer is right, all you have to do for all the problems that I did before is just go ahead and plug in the number you have where you have your variable. Okay. So for this one, we'll do, we'll check to check our work to see if it's the same. 
So we go ahead and just copy your problem as it was. So we do negative 10. But instead of the variable to be x, we're just going to plug in what our variable. Our variable is going to be negative 10 plus 2 equals 1 of 2. Now, if we're multiplying negative, negative 10 times negative 10, negative times a negative. You're looking up to your right side. Negative times a negative is going to be a positive. So 10 times 10 is going to be 100 plus 2 equals 1 of 2. 100 plus 2 is 1 of 2. So that is how you check your answer.